Oliver Rowe is one of London's best up-and-coming chefs with a passion for quality local produce. That's mad, macaron bacon. He's about to take the biggest financial gamble of his life, a new £300,000 restaurant in the heart of London, King's Cross. Except there's one big difference. All the food he sources for the restaurant will be grown or reared from places he can get to on the tube. As a chef, I know that the more local and the more seasonal the food is, the better the conditions it was grown under, and therefore the better the taste. But his first attempts to source vegetables are met with resistance. There's no way you could sell me your produce. Definitely not. The restaurant financing runs into some problems. Every time I think about the restaurant, all I can think of is this weight on top of me. And has he found a particularly interesting source of meat? Braised fox, yeah. Uh, a, a, a dobe of fox. Pot of fox. For the last two years, Ollie has been feeding the good people of King's Cross from his top-notch cafe, Constan. It's not too far for him to come to work, as he lives in the flat above it. Ollie's route to the position of chef has been unusual. He gained a degree in drama from Southampton University before finding his true calling in the kitchen. He then cooked in Greece and Italy before training with top chef and restaurateur Sam Clark. I think Ollie having to source the ingredients uh, from within London will be a huge challenge, but I think it's very exciting because it's a sort of discipline which will mean force him to be more creative with the ingredients he can get hold of. He'll have to be more seasonal. He's got the energy and the talent to, to pull it off, but I mean, obviously, it's a restaurant with special needs. In January 2004, he opened the cafe to critical acclaim and employs four people. Paul is Ollie's number two. On a basic level, he's really scatty. Um, he kind of keeps things on little bits of paper and I, I know he has been working very hard on everything um, but it is, a, it is a very big undertaking on his part and he is very kind of dedicated to, to, getting, to getting it to work. And just across the road is the former pub, the Prince Albert, which in only five months' time will be transformed into one of London's best restaurants. Here we are. This is the object of my desire. Uh, this is the front door. You kind of come in, and uh, this is going to be the seating area around here. The bar's going to be here. Kitchen's going to be there. You can have chefs producing fantastic food right in front of you. It's going to be brilliant. 